China's first autonomous region in Mongolia is celebrating its 70th birthday at the Ethnic Minorities Culture and Sports Center in Hohot. China's top political advisor Yu Zhengsheng delivered a keynote speech at the ceremony, praising the rapid development of Inner Mongolia during the seven decades. The regional GDP in Inner Mongolia reached 1.86 trillion yuan last year, over 600 times larger than in 1947. Its per capita GDP in 2016 was 74,000 yuan, an increase of 100 times higher than 70 years ago. Over 60 percent of its residents are now living in urban areas. With an area of more than 1 million square kilometers, Inner Mongolia covers about 12 percent of China's land mass. It is rich in natural resources and its strategic industries include coal mining, iron and steel, livestock farming and electric power. You outlined the best way to develop the region in the coming years. We need to strengthen structural reform on the supply side, actively develop the featured industries, and further boost modern agriculture and animal husbandry, to establish an advanced system with developments and anchors in multiple areas. We need to adhere to the path of green development and make a big push to get this process down with less energy and by recycling resources. China has committed to eliminating poverty by 2020, and Inner Mongolia is an important part of this plan. The number of impoverished people in the region has dropped by 60 percent in the past four years. But 2 percent of its population, or 550,000 people, still live below the poverty line. The top political leader vowed to tackle this problem by introducing better employment policies and strengthening the quality of local education.